Hello everyone, this is Terry with Futures.io, and it's my pleasure to welcome back Rod Casili of Collective2 for today's extended Ask Me Anything webinar. If you have a question during the webinar, please feel free to type your question into the questions box, and we'll do our best to answer them throughout the event. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do us a favor and give us a thumbs up if you enjoy the webinar. And as always, please feel free to share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us a lot. You can follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter with App Futures IO for news, events, and trading related information. And without further delay, I'll hand it over to Rod, and y'all can start asking your questions, and then we will uh, get this webinar going. Great. Thanks, Terry. Good afternoon, or evening, or morning, wherever you are in the world, everybody. Thanks for joining us uh, again. I look forward to answering whatever you got for us. All right, let's get the questions up. Okay, so I guess tell us a bit about what is Collective2. Sure. Uh, so Collective2 is a marketplace that connects uh, independent traders with investors. So we're a two-sided marketplace. Uh, sometimes you can think of us as sort of like the Uber for trading and investors, uh, trading and investing. We got both uh, drivers and passengers, if you will. So independent traders from all over the world ask us to track their brokerage, account, brokerage uh, results in real time. And then we allow investors to uh, subscribe to those signals and if they'd like, follow those in their own brokerage account. Um, I should point out that uh, the, the chat today, of course, is just for educational purposes. Nothing is a solicitation in any way, shape, or form to buy any security or invest in any particular trading strategy. Um, and all the results that you see on Collective2 are hypothetical. You can find out more by uh, going to collective2.com and looking at our risk disclosures and disclaimers. But at a high level, that's what it is. It's an open marketplace that connects independent traders with investors. Okay. Uh, do I need a live account to manage a strategy? You don't. You do not need a live account. Uh, Collective2 is a walk-forward, uh, out-of-sample type of environment, so you can't import uh, any sort of uh, back-testing results. So, so you start with your trade record on Collective2, and we track each uh, each trade signal in real time through a variety of different methods and you are able to use our web interface to uh, place those trades again the the data and things are real time when you submit that signal but you don't they don't have to originate from a live account we do have a designation called trade zone strategy which indicates that uh, the trading signals are coming from a live brokerage account we support many many different futures brokerage accounts as well as stocks and options and forex brokers as well um, so you, you, uh, you do not need it, but there, there are a number of investors that, that do prefer and tend to follow strategies that also have that trade zone strategy designation. So it's something to consider, um, uh, having a live account is, uh, is, is for some is additional validation. Okay. I know you probably can't say specifically, but how many traders do you have that are submitting strategies? So um, Collective2 has been in business uh, over a decade, and over the course of that time, we've had uh, over 55,000 different trading strategies that have uh, been active at least for a period of time. Um, uh, currently, we have about 2,000 strategies on the, uh, on the platform currently that have submitted a signal within the last uh, 30 days. Okay. And how many investors do you have investing? If I'm a trader, why should I go to Collective2? How do I know that people's actually going to um, buy my strategy or rent my strategy or however it works? Sure. So um, we have uh, we publish on the site. Uh, we change it uh, periodically based on the, the figures and the numbers. Um, so the last check we had about seven, a little over seventy million dollars worth of uh, worth of net equity of accounts that were connected to Collective2 trading strategies. I'll point out that those are dedicated. In other words, uh, we don't investors are not able to trade their own account when also uh, following a strategy on Collective2. We made that change a little while back to make sure that those accounts are, are dedicated to looking for trading signals from the Collective2 platform. So in terms of assets, it's a quite, quite a large pool and is continuing, continuing to grow. A lot of times we get uh, questions about uh, the types of strategies that, uh, that tend to attract more interest, and we can touch base on that if there's some more questions on it. But um, 
it's a very vibrant marketplace on, on both sides of the equation. Perfect. Um, I guess, what is the cost for a trader to become a, uh, to submit your trades or to become a trade leader? Sure. So you can go over to collective2.com in the upper right hand corner. There's a link to pricing and we call them trade leader plans. And we do offer a 14 day trial uh, where you can uh, use the software and submit signals in a variety of different ways and get familiar with it and see if it's uh, a good fit for, for your trading strategy or trading style. Uh, after that, there's a variety of different plans. Those plans vary from $19 a month up to $99 a month. We also have a professional plan that's more for um, prop firms or brokerage firms, actually, or trading organizations that might want to have m more than 10 strategies. Uh, they could go with a professional plan and actually even white label the software and, and use it under their own brand if they'd like. But the vast majority of traders select one of those plans, again, from $19 a month to $99 a month. And there's various uh, tiers of, uh, of access to uh, various capabilities depending on which plan you select. Uh, the basic plan and the premium plan are the most popular. The premium is 99 a month, and that allows you to manage up to three different strategies and uh, has all the other benefits and features that you see on the pricing grid on the website. Um, let's see. Where can you trade these strategies live, and does Collective 2 have a recommended broker for futures? Uh, yeah, let me answer that in just a moment. I, I did want to point out that uh, that the plans were f uh, that I just mentioned were for trade leaders. Uh, it's absolutely free for an investor, or really for any user. You could come in and say that you're a trader, but just look at uh, maybe look at your competition or other strategies that are on the platform, and that's all free. So until you actually want to publish trading signals. Uh, you don't need a plan or anything, and if you're an investor or someone who just wants to browse the trading history of all the various strategies, uh, in some instances you can't see the trade signals in, in real time. In fact, in many instances you can't, but you can certainly see the historical uh, performance and all the hypothetical results of, of those trading strategies, and, and there's no cost to, uh, to any of that. Okay. Uh, in, terms of the, in terms of the brokers that, uh, that we work with uh, on the website, um, uh, under the more tab, you, there's a drop down that says supported brokers. We also have a scroll of them on the home page. Um, we're actually very heavy in the amount of futures brokers for the audience today that's probably most interested in futures. So uh, almost all of the, the large clearing firms we have relationships with um, uh, and most of the large IBs are introducing brokers to those various clearing firms we have relationships with. Uh, so that might be, you know, trade of eight or um, or Dorman or uh, Infinity Futures, which is uh, through the Transact um, platform, or tra excuse me, Transact is their clearing firm. Uh, we also work with interactive brokers, which you can trade stocks and options, but you can also trade futures there, uh, gain capital. So just uh, a variety of different uh, brokers that, uh, that we support. Okay, awesome. Um, let's see. Does, does a trader need to be licensed or registered to share their trade uh, strategies? Um, so it's important to point out, I mean, I can't offer any sort of legal or financial advice of any kind. I can say that our, our model is described on, on the website, but at a high level, the way I would say is that at least in the United States, which is the jurisdiction where we, we do business, we do business all over the world, so you need to check what the rules might be in your local jurisdiction. There is no requirement for a trade leader, which is a, a, a signal provider, uh, to be licensed. Um, there are some guidelines that, that must be followed. It's very critical and important that those guidelines are followed. At a very high level, there are things like you, you do not provide any advice or direct communication around it, advising anyone. You're simply offering, in essence, an automated newsletter service in which people are paying a flat monthly subscription fee. So there can be no compensation that's based on the amount of trades or, or transaction costs or order flow or anything like that. There are a few other s standards that are important in this model. But since uh, the Collective 2 um, is structured to uh, set up to uh, work within that framework, um, it's not required, at least in the United States, to, uh, to be licensed to be a trade leader uh, on Collective 2. Uh, let's see. 
Okay, I'm on the I'm on a trial with C2 and see that most trade leaders charge by the month. That surprised me as I assume they would charge by the trade. Can you comment on these methods and I guess in your experience, which would be the best? Right, so that's actually a good question based on the, the last question, which is that um, the, the model that, that makes this work within the regulatory framework that's, that's outlined for how this can, you know, how this can work or take place is, is such that um, it needs to abide by uh, be a monthly subscription. So it's the same as um, since the beginning of the stock market, there are people that uh, that put out uh, trade recommendations or newsletters and they simply say these are the stocks we're watching or this is what we're buying. They're not providing any individual advice. They're not charging on a per transaction or per, uh, per signal basis. Um, they're simply charging a monthly fee for access to their trading ideas or their trade signals. That's the model that Collective Two follows. So it's uh, it's not permissible to charge based on a on a per trade basis. We are looking at uh, adding some flexibility where um, trade leaders could charge uh, an annual fee if they'd like, uh, or charge quarterly fees. Uh, but again, those would be f those would be fixed fees that would be associated with access to the strategy and the strategy signals. Um, we're also looking, uh, we have a full couponing and other e-commerce capabilities. So if you wanted to offer a discount to uh, new subscribers or other sort of e-commerce components, uh, we do allow that. But again, the, the pricing model is always going to be based off that, that monthly basis. You can offer a coupon or maybe extend the period of time, uh, but, uh, but nothing that's on a transactional basis. Okay. There's a question I have on what kind of controls do the investor have on the strategies that are running? Um, I'm sure. assuming they can turn it on and off. Um, yeah, but, um, yeah. It's, far, it's far more detailed than that. Um, click, we spent uh, quite a bit of time over the, the history of the company. Um, really going deep on, on self-directed accounts uh, on behalf of the investor. So yes, they have full control of, of turning things on and off. Uh, there's also the ability to set uh, stop losses per position, stop losses uh, ba based on other factors, uh, based on either a dollar amount or price. Um, so really there's, there's essentially complete manual trading. I had mentioned before that we don't allow someone to, to manually trade in the same account that they're following a collective two strategy, that just relates to positions that are not put on or initiated by the strategy. So if an investor is following uh, two future strategies and that future strategy, one, one's trading uh, energies and the other one's trading the indices, and they're in four different positions as a result of those, uh, those strategies, they can choose to set individual stop losses for each of those positions. Um, or, or put in uh, daily loss limits on a dollar amount basis or lots of other flexibility. Uh, you could determine the amount of contracts that you actually want to trade. You could choose to scale up or scale down the initial positions. Um, so when you're in as an investor, you can, uh, you can go in even when you're in simulation mode and, uh, and begin to uh, look at those various settings that are available. And there are quite uh, there's a lot of granularity that's uh, that's allowed that allows the investor to really uh, you know manage uh, the impact of those trading strategies within their own account. Okay, uh, how does C2 make money? Is it a commission paid to C2 over the monthly fees listed, or how how does C2 get paid by all of this? Sure. So as I mentioned before, we have trade leader plans that I talked about, which are the fees that are associated with a, a trading signal provider um, publishing to the platform. And then there are also um, some fees associated with, uh, with auto trade plans, which an investor pays based on the amount of strategies that they wish to follow. Again, none of those fees are, are necessary in, until you actually want to auto trade something live or you want to publish your strategy to the marketplace. Um, and we take, uh, we're similar to other marketplaces, whether it might be, you know, Amazon or, or again, Uber or anything. Uh, we take a percentage of, um, of those auto trade plan fees. Um, in the case of the plan fees, the majority is, is what we keep. 
But then also um, the providers, trade leaders, set the price for access to their strategy. And in most instances, that's a 70-30 split there as well. So if a trade leader was charging $100 a month for access to their strategy, uh, they retain $70 of that 130 goes to Collective 2 for all of the processing software and, of course, the, uh, the order, the, not the order flow, the, the traffic or the customer flow that results from uh, Collective 2. Awesome. Um, if I trade a strategy with C2, can I also place tr trades in my own account at the same time? So, no, you can't. We, we, we touched on that. You, you can, if... Uh, I, I, think if they're, I think they're talking about from, yeah. from the trader, the trade leader stand side. Oh, um, no, you, you, uh, you wouldn't want to, you wouldn't want to do that either. Um, if, if you were a trade leader and also interested in following a trading strategy on Collective 2, it would be better to do that in two separate accounts if indeed as the trade leader you were choosing to use a live account. Remember there was a question earlier about whether okay. you could submit signals without a live account. You could certainly use like our website to manage your Collective 2 strategy, uh, the signals you're submitting. Um, and then, you know, in, in your live account, you can follow strategies, uh, strategies um, in your live account, but you can't, you can't uh, do both in the same account. Okay. Um, is there a number or is there a relationship between the number of trades per month or returns and the monthly charges to the trade leader? The amount of uh, tr uh, trades per month. Um, n no. Uh, so the, uh, unlike maybe some prop firms or other uh, uh, structures where there are some rules associated with the nature of how you trade, not, not that prop firms charge you more if you trade more, I just mean that there are some rules or guidelines that, that uh, proprietary trading firms will have for their traders. Um, we, don't, uh, we don't have imposed any of those. So there's no limit to the amount of trades that you can do in, in your account. Um, I will point out that we found that less is more, and we can get into maybe some of the characteristics of trading styles or trading strategies that tend to attract more interest on Collective 2. Um, but uh, really, you can do whatever you want. We support all four major instrument classes, so I know the audience today is probably mostly futures related, but you can trade stocks, options, forex, or futures all in the same uh, model portfolio or strategy. Um, so you could have a QQQ uh, put position on the same time you're long the NASDAQ you know, uh, futures if you wanted. So you can hedge and do those types of things. And if you wanted to uh, you know, trade like a monkey with a wiffle ball bat and hit the button 100 times in a day, uh, well, there's certainly slippage and other considerations. There's nothing that prevents you from doing that. Okay. So that leads to my next, next uh, question on... Is there any like limitations on the types of strategies that you um, accept? Um. Um, there's there's some considerations to to be aware of. One is that uh, just at a high level, just to, so everyone knows how this works, because sometimes there's a little bit of confusion about this. Um, uh, the way in which you submit signals to your model portfolio on Collective Two, we have uh, on the website. There's six different methods of ways you can do that. You can do it with your brokerage account or uh, using the website, you could use a popular platform like NinjaTrader, uh, you could write to our API, you could either write an algorithm, and then we support a number of other different platforms. Uh, you can even send an email in. So that's how the signal gets into the model portfolio. Once you have actual live subscribers, all of those live subscribers um, are connected through their own individual accounts. So those trades are actually filled uh, at market. Um, one of the reasons it's important to point out, you know, it's hypothetical results, even if it's live trading, because, uh, you know, no two track records might be uh, exactly the same. So given that kind of model, there are definitely considerations that you need to be aware of as a trade leader. Um, so this is a long-winded way of answering the question. Um, the, the limitations are really sort of around the types of trading styles and instruments that work well for that model. So uh, if you were trading natural gas on a breakout strategy right around the Thursday inventory number, even on your own account, uh, demo or otherwise, you might see that you could get some slippage or not great fills. That's probably not a, uh, an entry strategy that is appropriate if your goal is to try to have 50 or 100 subscribers that are also following along with that because, again, those, those fills have to happen at, at market. 
So there's some considerations there. There are some others which we, we don't support um, exchange traded spreads on futures or options on futures yet. So if you're a options on futures trader, we don't yet support that. We might in the, in the future. There are some futures option, uh, futures contracts that we don't support. Uh, we support all the large ones that are liquid, but there are some of those index, um, sector index ones that might only trade several hundred contracts a day. We don't support, you can't trade any, uh, any of those. And then if you're a pure options trader, you might, uh, you know, be a, 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 you know, delta neutral or theta person, someone who's trying to do multi-leg options, uh, calendars, diagonals, or really any other kind of multi-leg option. You can do that, but uh, again, you have to consider that, that uh, if your goal, which we hope is most goals of trade leaders, is to publish a strategy that could potentially have 25, 50, or 100 subscribers, um, a lot of the times with those multi-leg options, you're also looking at some, some fill inefficiencies that, uh, that you need to be aware of. Um, that being said, if you're directionally doing things with options like on the queues or spiders or even things like Bank of America or Apple, I mean, you can fill hundreds or thousands of contracts on the bid or ask if you're just directional. So there's no limitations there in terms of liquidity, but there certainly is if you're doing um, you know, multi-leg or, or spread-based trading. Okay. Um... I guess this question kind of uh, piggybacks on that. Do you vet the people who post strategies and how does an investor know that these guys are for real? Yeah, so that's a, that's a great question. That's really the whole goal of the entire website and the business model is, is, to, is to provide as much transparency as, as possible to, uh, to invest, to really anyone that's looking at, uh, that, at a trading strategy. So the first thing that's important on, along those lines is to understand in the way in which a, a signal comes into collective two. You, you can't, you cannot game the system again in terms of importing back, back tested results or things like that. Even if the the person is demo trading or demo account, meaning they don't have a live account, but they're just putting that trade signal into the website. We captured it real time. Uh, you, you can't delete a trade or move everything around. It's walk forward, real committed type of results, which is one of the reasons is it, you know, I, we don't try to sugarcoat this. This is, you've heard me compare it to other, you know, ride sharing things. It's any, anybody can drive a car. Maybe that's some of the problems with some of the ride sharing issues that they're getting into, but um, trading is really hard. And, and on, Collective too, you have to be dedicated and committed and stick with it. I don't think, uh, you know, I, I point out the most popular question we haven't even gotten yet, which is, you know, how many subscribers does each strategy have or how long does it take to get subscribers? And the answer is it really depends. But like any business, I don't think you should go into it if you're a trade leader thinking that you can start trading in two weeks later, uh, even if you're doing well, uh, exceptionally well over a short period of time, that that's enough time or track record for an investor to feel comfortable uh, making an investment. So uh, in terms of due diligence, we don't do any due diligence or vetting of the traders that, that come to the platform. It's a very open marketplace. In fact, we're trying to democratize the whole idea that you need to have a certain pedigree or background uh, with which to uh, be successful in, in the business or to produce alpha or um, in some instances, nicely outsized uh, returns. Um, again, of past performances, no guarantee of future results, and please view all of the disclaimers on Collective 2 whenever we start to talk about performance in any way, shape, or form. Um, but if you go to the website, it's completely free, you log in and you can check out these strategies and know that those signals were all executed in real time. You can click on the show more trade details and see the, uh, the actual fill prices if a, if a strategy has live, uh, live subscribers. Um, and then under the statistics tab, uh, we probably provide more statistics than a lot of, you know, mutual funds or brokerage firms in terms of the amount of stats that you can see. Not everyone is familiar with what all those things mean, a Sartino or a Calmar ratio or a Sharp ratio, uh, but you can certainly look at win-loss ratios. And then, of course, you can see all of the, uh, the performance net of, uh, net of the subscription fees and estimated commissions. 
so between that and um, and the model of, of how the, the strategies are actually published that's uh, that goes a long way towards uh, towards helping people make uh, decisions about the strategies that might uh, they might want to follow okay um, here let's see what happens if my account misses a trade or gets out of sync for technical reasons or otherwise? Sure, that's a that's a great question. Um, that's another whole part of uh, the Collective Two uh, model and technology is the uh, is the auto syncing technology. And certainly, things do happen. They can happen on all fronts. Computers go down, networks go down, things happen. So, Collective Two though is in the business of keeping. Uh, accounts in sync. So when things do get out of sync, uh, the software goes into repair mode and looks to uh, to determine how to make sure that the uh, the the lead account or the and the subscriber account are are in sync. So the it's it's difficult to answer because there are various edge conditions. But let let me just give you one in which um, a, a signal was submitted to a strategy that you're following and for some reason our connection to your broker was down at the time okay so as soon as that connection comes back up we're going to see that um, things are out of sync and we will make adjustments to either buy or sell whatever is required to get things back into sync um, that might immediately freak people out about well I've got a worse price or a better price um, these things don't happen very often but they do. Uh, there are means in which we have to get things back into sync, and uh, that's essentially how it works. Is when things are out of sync, things are either bought or sold to make sure that they get back into uh, uh, back into sync. Awesome. Um, along those lines, uh, the, the, a couple other things come to mind, which is. When you go to join a strategy, you have the decision, you can make a decision. Again, this comes back to the self-directed nature of the software, where you can choose to join positions that are currently in progress, or you can say, no, I, I want to wait for, for a new position to, uh, to be put in, to, to, um, to come in until I join that new position. Um, so there are some there are some self-directed and, and elegant ways in which the software handles sort of syncing issues or gives people choices to to make decisions based on uh, on you know understanding that that might happen a lot if you're ready to follow a strategy that's doing well and has an open position that it's it's up quite a bit you don't have to actually buy that position to to start following the strategy there's a lot of sophistication that goes went into this technology where that that strategy could have 10 open positions and you could choose to you know not follow any of them and you're not going to take a trade until it does a new trade in a new symbol uh, in, within the strategy or the next new trade in the existing symbol so there's a uh, quite a bit of sophistication there okay um, is it typical for a leader to fully manage a trade with stops and targets along with the entry and exit signal um, I think I understand that. Well, we, we certainly hope so. I mean, uh, the question that hasn't come up is whether the you know, trading strategies have to be 100% algorithmic and completely programmed. The answer to that is no. Uh, the the genesis initially of Collective Two is we tended to attract more fully algorithmic traders. We now have a, a mix of all different types of trading styles, uh, everything from uh, fully rules-based discretionary traders all the way up to completely algorithmic traders with dozens or hundreds of models that might be running that lead to a single or multiple strategies. Um, but in terms of, of managing the position through its entire life cycle, uh, yes, I mean, that, that, is, that is the idea. And while investors are, have self-directed accounts and can put their own configurations that overlay on top of, um, on top of the, the strategies, uh, we don't give any recommendations or suggestions, but we would say that, you know, again, less can be more. So if you're going to follow a strategy, once you've done the research, if you're comfortable with the way in which that strategy trades, it's usually best to just sort of leave it alone and let it do its thing. Make your decision you either want to be following or, or you don't. Uh, and then let the strategy, strategy manager, trade leader uh, set those 
those targets, stops, and and all the logic associated with uh, with the way it trades. Okay. Um, do investors have to trade on your platform? And if so, is the investor's account under the Trade Leaders Master account? Okay. So the first thing is is uh, to auto trade to have some, a signal automatically traded in a brokerage account. Uh, investor would have to have an account with one of our supported brokers because that's where, where the connection happens. We do have a small percentage of the investor community that simply uses C2 as an idea generation or signal generation service in which they can subscribe to the strategy and receive an email or SMS in real time when that strategy places a trade. And then of course they're welcome to um, place that trade in any any account they'd like or do whatever they'd like with it. It's it's the same as you know I mentioned newsletters or signal services that have been around kind of since the beginning of uh, of trading and markets. Um, so that's certainly possible. But to auto trade, in other words, when a strategy places that signal to have that same uh, signal traded in their account automatically uh, within you know generally within 300 milliseconds. Uh, you would have to work with one of our uh, one of our supported brokers. Was there another part to that question? It was. I think uh, there was a two part. No. Oh, and if so, is the investor's account under the trade leader's oh, master account? Right. Yeah. No, no. There's no. There's no concept of 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 account of a of a sort of that parent child relationship. No. It. Uh, if you're familiar with the term API or application programming interface, that's really what C2 is. Is it's one large signal connecting marketplace where uh, you you know I can be a trade leader who sends a signal from uh, interactive brokers places a trade for one ES and it and I do it on my live account we capture that and it goes to the model portfolio and then that is then sent out as an email to anyone who wants to get it via email and then also someone at uh, at Dorman trading or at ninja trader can have that signal placed in their in their account automatically for them. There's no concept of something being underneath or, or dedicated uh, to any particular trading strategy um, from a hierarchical standpoint or, or coded to any particular trading strategy. It's, it's just a, it's a connector that allows you to connect to, which is, which is kind of cool, meaning that there are other uh, models like this, but to, to my knowledge, it's, it's generally this concept where you're, you are a, uh, you're, you're, you know, signing a letter of direction or something indicating that you wish to follow this particular strategy with this name and this person that follows it and that, that and the other. And if you wanted to stop that or change, you'd have to call your broker and fill out new paperwork to do something else. On Collective 2, um, once you have gone through the connection process, uh, now we don't encourage this, but on literally on a daily basis or whenever you want, you can jump to any strategies you'd like. You have to pay the subscription fees associated with that, but um, it's it's truly a, really a marketplace once you have your brokerage account connected. It's, uh, it's very, we have some investors that follow over 25 different strategies and are pretty active in terms of how often they might, you know, modify their portfolio and the ones that they follow. And they can do that all through the interface without ever having to call us or call the broker or do anything like that. Okay, in the last question or answer, you touched on notifications. There's a question about what about notifications. So I guess what kind of notifications can it receive? You said SMS. I'm assuming it can receive email or et cetera. Yeah, those are the, those are the two primary ones, and they, uh, the, the notifications have all the detail that would be required to, um, as the, uh, there was a previous question about, you know, do, you have, do I have to have the broker? No, it would, it would give you all the detail about, the, the price and the the order yeah. in the instrument and um, in in every instance it's it's a uh, either an indication of an actual fill or an adjustment to an existing position um, so what you this is kind of important what you don't see is things like if uh, the s p futures trade over this particular level, and it's eclipse, and it's a Monday, and then th these five other things happen, then we're going to enter this position. I mean, that's one of, I've been doing this for quite a, quite a long time on both sides of the equation as someone who has followed 
or uh, followed along with trading advice from various environments and then also have been designing and coding and implementing trading strategies myself for, for quite a while. And what I find very dissatisfactory is this these signals and things that go out that are woulda, coulda, shoulda, or there's additional work after the signal goes out, meaning watch, look at this chart, and if all these things align, then you know, hop on one foot, and then we're going to buy something. Um, what we do on Collective 2 is we simply notify you when a trading strategy has entered or closed a signal or adjusted a stop or target or done something else. So they're actually the actionable real fills or real signals associated with those trades, not um, pontification on markets or, you know, I, I, there's a place for that, but, you know, there's a very, very popular a community of, uh, uh, it's a charting program out there that has you know, hundreds of thousands of people that are drawing all over charts and saying woulda, coulda, shoulda, or this is what I'm going to do, or woulda done, or um, that's not what we're about. We're about, you know, real trades and, and real signals. Awesome. Um, there's a question, I know you talked about pricing earlier. Is there a different pricing for uh, auto traders or discretionary or is it all the same so there's, the there's two different there's two different plans so there's a there's a trade leader plan if you wish to publish your strategy or be a trader on collective 2 that's man, it's sending signals um, and then there's in, in investors and the investors have to pay this the published subscription fees whatever those subscription fees um, are for access and then they also require an auto trade plan. Um, so an auto trade plan, yeah, there's various levels of the auto trade plan. They go from 49 up to 199, and they depend on how many strategies you wish to follow. So to follow a single strategy uh, as an investor, you would have to pay whatever subscription fee is associated with the strategy you wish to follow, and then would require uh, our solo uh, auto trade plan, which is $49 a month to follow one strategy. And then the only other fees are uh, whatever the published commissions are for whatever broker that you're working at. We we don't mark up. There are no additional transaction fees, no assets under management, no performance, all those things we mentioned before. There's nothing additional. It's just a flat auto trade plan, a subscription fee, and then the brokerage commissions that are charged by your broker for those trades. And I'm assuming there's a free trial for trade leaders? Correct. There's a 14-day trial for trade leaders. Um, you can uh, sign up for, and, and the track record associated with that trial is, is um, it's ephemeral. It goes away. You, you. The goal of it is not to try to perform real well or or do crazy things. It's just to learn the software and understand, uh, you know, how trading signals are submitted or how to hook up your platform or get familiar with with everything before you choose to start publishing real trades. Uh, it's not meant to be something that's uh, not only not meant to be, you, you can't convert it over to uh, to your live trading track record. It's simply just a trial. Okay. Uh, let's see, there is a question I have to get the clarification on. Uh, I'm looking at the screen here to ask your questions. <laughs> That's what they're going to be looking at. That's going to be looking at the entire time. I almost put a exclamation point on it, and that felt uh, a little aggressive. Um, um, dare you ask? There's a question about: Do you have bulk discounts? But I'm not for sure exactly what they mean by that, and on what side. <laughs> Um, we get uh, so this is a good. I can, I can kind of take an answer at it. So if you're talking about a trade leader, um, not necessarily bulk. They're just various tiers of the of the plan. So if you uh, if you really wanted to to go at this and had a lot of different strategies and things, I would recommend looking at our professional plan, which does allow you to have up to ten strategies. And again, on you could use your own brand and stuff if you wanted. It's a private platform white label version um, other than that the, 
the tiers kind of adjust for sort of discounts. Again, it's 49 for one strategy or 99 for three. So the, the tiers have, have that built-in discount. Um, so that's how we handle it there. And it's similar on the, um, on the investor side. There's, there's not really this concept of uh, there are trade leaders from time to time that will offer uh, incentives or, uh, or discounts um, for, to access their trading strategy. But that's not really related to, to bulk. So uh, on the investor side, if you wanted to follow five or more strategies, you just buy the right plan. And we have uh, the largest plan is um, it's called Portfolio Plus. And at that plan level, you can follow uh, unlimited amounts of strategies. So at that level, there is no more bulk discount. You just buy that plan level. And as I mentioned, we do have some investors that, uh, that follow more than 25 strategies. So they're just on that largest plan level. Okay, so I'm so an investor pays the monthly plan fee and then plays the trader whatever their cost for the um, strategy is. Correct, exactly. So, so the auto trade plan, you, you make a determination for how many strategies you're going to follow. Um, uh, our our average is two point six, so it means that. You know, that's not a, you know, it's between two and three. Uh, so, but if, if you were just starting out and just wanted to find a, uh, I can give an example. I mean, there's an, a, a popular future strategy that has is $49 per month for the strategy fee. That's what the strategy manager charges. And then in order to auto trade that, you would require the solo auto trade plan to follow a single strategy. And that's 49. So for, for $98 per month, you would be able to follow that strategy in a single, uh, single brokerage account. Okay. Uh, uh, someone asked, "What is the name of that strategy?" I don't know if you can say it or not. But. Yeah, I'm not today. I'm not going to uh, promote or sh or show any. If you can, uh, if you go in, there's a there's a leaderboard, and you can search by. Uh, 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 popular strategies or trade zones, strat, trade zones, uh, strat, trade zones strategy, which we mentioned, which is called you know toss certification, not to be confused with thinkorswim, and uh, you can search by symbols also, or you can search by instruments. So you can go in and and look look at that. We had a really popular one that was 99, and they went and doubled their price because <laughs> they got so popular. So that that's. Not a lot of other places where you can give yourself a you know a hundred percent raise and and still uh, still do okay without you know it's all about market demand and supply and demand right so yeah um, okay I guess I'm gonna leave this here with this last question okay uh, hold on something just came in let's see. Okay, there's a question on commissions. Are they actual rates charged by the broker? Yes. So um, on uh, on each strategy page, and uh, the strategy page, if you're not familiar with Collective Two, what you do is you just uh, you hit go to collect uh, collective2.com. If you're not already if you don't already have a login, you just hit join C2 and, and register. There's a little checkbox that says you know, uh, I, I'm an investor and wish to follow strategies or I'm a trader and wish to publish, um, you know, select which one you think is closest to you, but know that you can still use the site uh, on, on both sides. It's, it, we don't prohibit you from being able to see the details of, of the strategies. Um, so once you go in and, and uh, are on a strategy page where you're looking at the details from that strategy, on the right-hand side, there's something that says summary statistics. And there's a little drop down there that says view the strategy results with um, interactive brokers uh, uh, commissions or with trade of eight commissions or with it lists all of our brokers there. Um, at least it lists the brokers that uh, if the strategy has live subscribers, it's also going to select from uh, the most popular broker that's being used to follow that strategy. And when you select that, it will actually change the track record to show um, something as close as possible to the performance with the commissions based on the published commissions for that uh, that particular broker. 
So that was a long-winded way of saying, um, yes, we, we factor in the trading commissions, and those are the trading commissions that are published by those individual brokers. Is there a limit on what the leader can charge per month for their strategy? No, I mean, just have to be aware that it's a, you know, it's a competitive marketplace. Uh, I get asked this a lot, and and when I've started to to talk about the sweet spot of, you know, X amount of money, or uh, you know, forty nine or ninety nine or one ninety nine or what have you, um, uh, you know, good risk adjusted returns. Um, uh, solve a lot of issues and when it comes to pricing I mean we're in a world in which uh, uh, money management fees and, and all those things are it's like a race to zero uh, there's there's a strong belief that there's not a lot of alpha or outperformance whether it's uh, from investment managers or investment advisors either one there's a, a high amounts of price sensitivity and I don't blame people because what value is being provided by these investment managers that are just putting people in hedge funds or mutual funds, and then these mutual funds that are not doing as well as just the ETFs that have lower fees to begin with. So in this world, it's it's a little different because we're actually, people are trying to really price alpha, and that's that's a difficult thing to know. That's a long-winded way of saying, hey, have at it. If you're really doing well, you could probably support a higher price. But, um, you know, you have, you have to consider what's, what the annual rate is in terms of dollar amounts and what that is relative to the model portfolio size. And what I mean by that is if you are um, managing a $100,000 portfolio, that's the way you've set up your strategy, you, you first also would know that, that to follow that on a one-to-one -one basis, the investor would have to have um, an account of that size, uh, not in every instance, but it would be uh, more preferable if that account was of the same size. So in that case, a $200 a month uh, fee is $2,400. That's you know two and a half percent of the account value. That's very insignificant uh, if the performance uh, on a risk-adjusted basis is there. Um, if you're charging $499 a month and you're tra tra uh, trading a $10,000 futures account, well, you can do the math on that, right? Your your subscription fees are half the value of the account size. So you want to try to make those sort of even up at some point, but we have we have a strategy on Collective Two that charges thousand dollars a month and has has a few subscribers. Okay, um, are the there's a question on the commissions and he says if I normally pay three fifty a round turn is that what I will pay using an auto trade strategy from Collective Two? So this is uh so it's important to point out if, that we uh, I'll answer it in a couple different ways the. The first thing is that we don't charge any commissions on Collective 2. So if you're saying I, I'm charged that by my broker um, and you followed a strategy on Collective 2 that traded that same or similar instruments, then your fees and commissions will, will be the same um, as whatever your broker's rates are. Um, if you are trading as a trader, and you have, uh, you know, so again, the amount you threw out 350 sounds very reasonable, but like for instance, if you said, hey, I'm a big shot at the, this and this brokerage firm and and I trade so much volume that they charge me, you know, a dollar and a half a turn. Uh, and when I traded on Collective 2, meaning when I sent my signal to Collective 2 and, and I saw the results on my model portfolio, uh, you know, you're you're saying the commissions are higher. Well, we might not work with that particular broker, so all we can do is say, at you know, at interactive brokers, this is what that might that would that would have cost. So, um, hopefully, that kind of answers the question. It's really important to point out we don't charge any brokerage commissions or any transaction fees of any kind. So, all all we do is estimate those for purposes of of showing the hypothetical performance of the strategy, and we just indicate that you know. Your for any transaction related questions, you would contact your broker because a, a trade that's placed through Collective Two th through following a strategy looks the same to your broker as any other trade. Again, they don't mark it up, we don't mark it up. Okay, and then uh, I'll leave this as the last question. If there is there if there's one piece of advice that you could give a new trader that is looking to get started uh, sharing your trades on Collective 2, what would it be? 
Yeah, that's a great question. And I touched on this in the previous uh, webinar that uh, we did a month ago or so. Um, so you could revisit that because uh, I'd probably go into more detail than I would here. Um, so the first thing is that, you know, trading, if, if any of you have been doing it, and I'm sure many of you have, uh, you know, it's really about being humble and being patient and being committed uh, and without sounding too crazy, you know, being really passionate about your craft and, 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 and what you're doing because it's, it's really very, very difficult. And what I like about Collective 2 is while it's a great opportunity for traders to uh, get into the business of, of trading, if you will, it it's also can be all of those things, keep you really humbled, see what your competition is, know that there are, uh, there are people that are going to be ahead of you that have been publishing to the platform for, for quite a while. So the first thing I say is, is, is I always use this analogy, it really is an acorns to oak trees. This is not, you know, trade for 10 days or 20 days. There's nothing wrong with those other models where you can get funded and, and get into business at a much shorter period of time if you abide by the rules. But on Collective 2, it's a, it's a, it's a longer term process. So you need to be committed to, uh, to working through that and, uh, and to, to staying, um, you know, on the platform and, and, and have at it. And you can go through drawdowns. I think there's a, you know, the advice I would also give is if you start a strategy, a $20,000 future strategy, and, and you, within the first six weeks, you just go into a drawdown. You're like, oh, it's down 4%. I'll, this is never going to work. I need to reset it or screw this. It's never going to work. No, that, that's, that's, I mean, 10%, 15, 20, 30% drawdown in a, in a future strategy is fully within the realms of, an acceptable kind of thing. Uh, so it's it's really about you know if you have traded that strategy in the past and you've you've done your work on it on a walk forward basis after you've done um, some of the work to determine which you know which strategy you want to publish or which style you're going to be trading, you got to stick with it and you got to you got to persevere because a lot of your competition is going to do just that. They're just going to give up and then to you know. The spoils go to those that that stick it out, and uh, and over time, um, you know, the longer you're on the 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 platform, the the more trading history you have, and the more trading history you have, the more attractive you are to a larger percentage of investors who like to see that you didn't you know flip the bozo bit one month and go totally crazy and start you know doubling down into a drawdown or all these other things. So it's really about persistence and commitment. And, uh, and passion. Um, and the final thing I would say is, is also less is more. Again, I go into this on the other webinar, but um, it's not to say that a strategy or a style that trades uh, crude oil 5, 10, 15, 20 times a day and is profitable can't work on Collective 2. But I'll, I'll tell you that the one that, that swing trades or trades less frequently tends to uh, tends to attract more interest uh, in the short term and the intermediate term and that's that's for a variety of different reasons one is we were talking about transaction costs no matter what they are will just will just eat into trading performance and sophisticated or even not uh, investors of all types of backgrounds have become very aware uh, of that and will tend to gravitate more towards trading strategies that are a little less active so there's a couple pillars of, uh, of success. Absolutely. Thank you uh, for your time today and for taking questions. And I hope uh, hope we answered people's questions. If you ha still have a question, I am sharing the uh, contact page on the uh, Collective 2 website at the moment. So you can go to the URL there. They have the phone number. There's a place where you can send an email. So, again, if you have a question that's a bit beyond this webinar or you just want to find something out, you can – Visit that page and uh, contact them directly. Yeah, Terry, I'd also act to ask that you know we're we're pretty small group of approachable guys and gals over here too. So just like as I said on the other webinar, you can send me an email too if you want. Rod R O D as in dog at collective2.com. Um, uh, I've also told the support staff to forward anything that you do send to help at Collective Two. Uh, if you just want to reference uh, Futures I O, I was on a Futures I O webinar. Uh, that'll get to me as well. But if you want to send it directly to Rod at Collective 2, you're uh, welcome to do that as well. Awesome. Again, thank you for your time today, and uh, you have a good evening. Thanks, everybody. Be good.